Hi friends, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and uh, yes, I'm back with my with another video of mine and I have two specific questions for all of you, the two most frequently asked questions and since my vi last video was regarding weight loss and fat loss, the two questions predominantly are, you know, relating to that very subject as well. Uh, so jumping directly into the first question the first question that you know a lot of people ask and a lot of people have doubts on and a lot of people you know uh, falter there maybe if i may say so is that if you if someone is starting on a uh, fitness journey if, if on their fitness journey and someone mm -hmm. to lose weight want to lose cut down on fat or after a point in time if let's say for example the person has been into this journey for let's say six months eight months one year and they need a new perception uh, on to how uh, to be going about things so the question remains on the lines is what should i do more or what should what should i work around if it's you know cardiovascular uh, formats like dancing aerobics running cycling or more related to strength uh, training formats which is uh, your power lifting your bodybuilding and your olympic lifting uh, regimes right and my uh, suggestion and my first thought would be that uh, if you are someone that is getting into a health and fitness uh, journey of their own uh, you know for the first time then please do not think about you know what is good what is not good what is right what is wrong you will have ample time to think about it along the journey and uh, if, if any movement, if any format, you know, makes you happy, makes you interested, makes you want to get out of that bed and get rolling and, uh, you know, not make you feel lazy, you should start with that, right? And then probably worry about the other things. So it's about getting into that habit first and then putting the science and the logic behind it. Now, second thought that I would like to share is let me uh, try and break it down what I'm going to explain you here is so what happens when you do, do these two classes or two formats or let's say you spend a couple of hours a day doing these two things. So when you're doing a uh, cardio workout, a cardio based format, you are losing a lot of calories, right? You are losing a lot of weight, you are losing a lot of fat as well, but it is only happening during that stipulated duration of time so if let's say for example your dance class or your cycling session is only for an hour you are only burning calories during that stipulated one hour but let's say what happens when you are doing a strength training program right you are giving one one and a half hours to strength training what happens then but naturally the amount of calories that you're burning as compared to the one hour in your uh, you know cardio format is less but let me tell you a simple fact about strength training as well so let's say when you are working on your strength training right what happens to your muscles so let's say for example these are your muscles now these two joint fibers are your muscles you spend a day or two one one and a half hours working on these muscles and they will break yes that's what happens when you are working on your muscles now with good recovery which is seven to nine hours of sleep and taking a day or two uh, you know rest in a week they will join back with probably an additional layer of muscle fiber and how does this additional fiber uh, muscle fiber develop whatever you are eating right whatever nutritious food clean food good food you are eating it will take that into account process it and you know develop into a third or an additional uh, fiber of muscle so this is what is happening after your strength training so your body is continuously working after your strength training as well but whereas in a cardio based workout your body just works for those one one and a half hours and does not produce such results when it comes to food or when it comes to utilizing energy as compared to the strength workouts now i am not trying to say that you know strength workouts are uh, you know a little higher than the uh, cardio workouts all i'm trying to say is that you need to have that balance in your workouts probably let's say if i have a five day uh, workout uh, week then i might give three days to strength training and might give two days to cardio workout or if let's say for example my goal is to lose you know a great uh, amount of weight in a sh short stipulated time then i might just give three days three, three days right so it totally depends and that's why in my previous video i always uh, mentioned that you know people need to learn how to ask the correct set of questions to the trainers that they meet to the gym centers that they visit to the google searches that they make once you make those correct uh, questions you will definitely have the correct answers because we our knowledge is there at the touch of our finger right so everything is out there we just need to spend 
time understanding things how it works for us now this makes me come to my second question which is how often does one need to train now let's say for example you are just starting out or uh, you know a person who has been 2 3 years into training all of us go through this question right how often should i train how often should i not train and you know how long for should i train now even i came from a culture or our indian culture is such let's say uh, we uh, prioritize hard work over smart work we prioritize working more over smart working right so let's say for example if there were weeks when i did not work out for 6 days a week or 5 days a week i used to feel a little bad about myself or if you know some weeks had 7 days of me working out i used to have that upliftment of ego boost that you know this week went on really well for me but what is actually happening is on the weeks that probably i'm working 6 days 7 days a week continuously i'm not taking you know good recovery rest time my body is under pressure and forbid forbid me for saying this let's say for example your body is taking it right now at the age of 25 30 35 but once you reach and cross 40 45 you will get more prone to injuries because your body biologically will not be able to take that much that kind of a load right so a recovery or a rest rest period is as important as your workout regime right so you need to let's say for example you know strategically schedule your workouts strategically see how much you're sleeping you know what your sleep cycle is depending on your work life as well how much time you can give to your workouts how much time you can give to your sleep and you know how much uh, thought you can put into what you are eating all of these things will cater to how much time probably one can give to workouts in the day now it all boils down to finding the right people right so we spend so much time in you know finding friends uh, befriending uh, colleagues and uh, two friends or befriending strangers to friends that that is almost the same amount of time that we need to find our correct match for the fitness center or the gym the correct match for the trainer who to follow or who to give that trust or let's say if you are a self learning uh, individual or a personality and you you know google is your best friend then you need to trust in yourself and you know spend that those many hours you know read stuff from verified sources ask the people around if you know what you are reading can they relate to if this is right wrong and you know instagram youtube everything is in a brink of a touch right so there is uh, so what i'm trying to convey here is uh, working more than what is required working more than 6 days a week 7 days a week more than 5 days a week can be a little uh, injurious as well so if you're working 4 days a week or 5 days a week or even 3 days a week that is really good and that can lead you to what results you want for yourself that can lead you to where you want to reach and what your goals are working out more or spending more time sweating and you know spending every single day doing a high intensity workout does not mean that it's giving you faster results it means that you are adding and putting more pressure without thinking of your sleep cycle your work your food and xyz other things as well right so this is uh, this is this was the second thought that i wanted to break that uh, more workout and just high intensity workout doesn't lead to faster goals so with that thought guys i'd like to bid adieu and uh, i hope that all of us are working on ourselves all of us are you know encouraging and motivating our friends and family around to you know becoming a better version for ourselves uh, of themselves sorry because that's what we are here for right uh, all right guys cheers and stay tuned for more such videos thank you so much for your time